Seventh Wimbledon championship that would leave her two behind the all-time record Martina Navratilova. She looks for her 20th Grand Slam title. If successful, only Margaret Court has won more Grand Slams. And looks for her 100th tour win. Kamiko Date has six tour wins and Groff six Wimbledon championships. She's 5'4", 25 years of age from Tokyo, ranked 13th, seeded 12th. And she, uh, if you like Arancha Sanchez, Vicario, Tracy Austin, you have to like Kamiko Date. Yeah, she's a real go-getter, a real retriever, runs down everything, moves extremely well, doesn't put a lot of pace on her shots, real compact strokes, it really moves the ball around the court nicely. One of the keen London writers compared her to your, your pet canine, you know, just fetch, 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 fetch until you tire out. <laughs> from the game. So Date, the number one player in Japan, the first ever to reach the semifinals of Wimbledon with a major task. Can she challenge the number one player in the world? This is Ford Escort. It's new and it's nifty. It's made for the smart, the intelligence rifty. It's new. Tomorrow at noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific with the men's semifinals. Plus Wimbledon updates tonight and tomorrow at 11.35 p.m. Eastern and Pacific. All concluding with a double serving of breakfast at Wimbledon. Saturday and Sunday at 9 a.m. Eastern, 6 Pacific. The Championships, Wimbledon on NBC. And welcome back to Center Court Wimbledon. The women's semifinals. Steffi Graf, the defending champion against Kamiko Date. Graf, now 27, her birthday between uh, the French Open Championship and Wimbledon. Co-ranked number one in the world with Monica Seles. Seles beaten earlier in the championships, went out mid-first week. She's lost only twice this year. Martina Hingis beat her, and she has uh, sought and found revenge there. And uh, Kamiko Dotti, her opponent today, defeated her in the Fed Cup 12-10 in the third set. Here's her trip in. Easy first round, Richterova, the Czech Republic, Natalie Baudone of Italy. A little bit of a tough time there. Nicole Arndt from New Jersey cruised through that one. Martina Hingis, the number 16 seed, only 15 years old. A little bit of a tough time in that second set. And Jana Novotna really played an unbelievable match. The number six seed defeated her 6-3, 6-2. Total control of that quarterfinal round. Date is 25, ranked 13th, seeded 12th. She's the first Japanese woman in a Wimbledon semifinal, so it's a historic event for that country. She did make the semis of the Australian in 94. That's the only other time a Japanese woman has been in a Grand Slam. So she's writing her own history in a more limited area, her country's tennis history, while Graf is writing her name in the all-time history books and already will be considered one of the greats of this game. A fellow player from Japan in the first round and really struggled in her next rounds, always losing that first set, but coming through and winning in the third. Conchita Martinez defeated her, the number three seed, and also Mary Pierce in the quarterfinals. Graf opens this semifinal. Miko Date with a lot more tennis on her body the last week and a half. Under three sets four times. play by Graf. Really beautiful drop shot. Well disguised because you can't tell whether she's going to hit that drop shot or just her regular backhand slice. I think Steffi should use that a lot in this match. One, because she has a great drop shot. Two, to bring Kamiko to the net. She's not comfortable up there. Winner for Date. And this shows how compact Kamiko Date's strokes are and how early she hits the ball out in front on the rise. Date, excellent runner. She can really cover the baseline. Oh, 40, 50. 
And you will watch that unusual stiff sweeping forehand because she's really a natural left hander Japanese custom. They made her play right handed even though that was her offside. Oh. What a point. Wow terrific get there from Dante. It looks like a clean winner from Steffi Groff. She just flicks the wrist not only gets it back but puts Steffi in trouble. Terrific get. Game is called. Steffi Graf has opened the semifinal match. The defending champion with a hold will return to Wimbledon in just a moment. Dateline. Three six Summer Olympics. Championships Wimbledon brought to you by American Honda, maker of fine quality automobiles, motorcycles, and power equipment. By Pepsi AC Acid Controller, you can be heartburn free with Pepsi AC. By Dean Witter, there are many ways to measure success. We measure it one investor at a time. And by Pringles, so fresh, once you pop, you can't, you can't, you can't stop. Late afternoon, early evening in England. As you look down on a date tomorrow in the semifinals against Richard Krejcik. Oh. What next? To center court we go. Where Steffi Graf having little trouble with Kamiko Date. It's three love. 15-30. Date serving. Graf in the lead. Break points for Groff. Interesting how uh, only 10 minutes uh, into this match and Groff a point away from a four love lead. Interesting how the uh, net cords seem to roll in the favor of the best players. And this match came on court so quickly after Rancho Sanchez Vicario finished her match. Wanted to make sure that they get through with this match as well. <laughs> and Groff with another break leads for love. Well, I guess for Dade, when you uh, look at her record at Wimbledon, the fact that she's won her last four matches from one set down, I guess you're in her camp you have to think that's when she's most dangerous <laughs> that's if you're in her camp but she is playing Steffi whole different ball game mm -hmm. Groff has four games Dante has five points six Love the team. Groff has lost only five times. This is her 70th Wimbledon match. Look at that. Six Wimbledon, five French, four U.S., four Australian. I mean, the, the necklace is so complete. She's got all the jewelry. No one has won the four majors each four or more times. She's only 27. If she plays as long as Chris or Martina did, they played till 34 Chris did, and about 38 Martina did have a bundle. Love 30. First opening for Date at Love 30. blocking it not using a huge swing and then seeing that it's up in the air goes in and takes that full two-handed backhand swing 
Good timing. Oh, at love, she breaks back. 4-1, Groff in the lead in the opening set. If you want the outstanding career of 27-year-old Groff, She's currently tied with Helen Wills Moody with 19 Grand Slam singles wins, five behind Margaret Smith Court of Australia. She's passed Martina, Chris Everett, Billie Jean King with 12, and she's very modest about her enormous success. I don't think when I go out on a court, I'm thinking about history. I'm trying to make history or anything like it. I think I'm, I'm trying to play the match, and, and to me, to think of myself making history, uh, it doesn't really come to my mind. Not that, not right now, at least. Maybe some other time, but definitely not right now. And I think that's a very honest response, don't you, Tracy? Yeah, I think she doesn't think about it at all. I think she thinks about each tournament, just wants to win as many titles as she can. Hates to lose. Like all champions do. Oh, that's five straight points won by Date. But she did break Martina Navratilova's record earlier this year. Martina had been ranked once in her career, 331 consecutive weeks at number one, and Steffi broke that, and Steffi said, hey, I had to look at that and say, he, that is kind of impressive. So a rare acknowledgement from Steffi, because she usually doesn't give herself a lot of credit. A real perfectionist. ask you a tough question here when people are that successful often they're not that popular in the locker room how about Steffi she's never in the locker room <laughs> Steffi thought that was long and uh, barks at the lines person did look beyond the baseline and Steffi rarely questions a call You say she's never in the locker room. Uh, it's just that she doesn't like to socialize, get close to the other players? No, she doesn't get close to the players. Say, says hi, is cordial. I think all the players respect her very much, but uh, Renee Stubbs is really, and Patricia Terabini are only major friends on the circuit. Doesn't hang out a lot, doesn't socialize. Game point for Date to go 2-4. Back last Sunday, the WTA had a top player meeting, and Steffi Groff and Martina Hingis were the only ones not to show up. WTA wasn't too pleased about that. Jeez. Now, that's the other side of it all as a great champion there are other responsibilities and certainly Billie Jean King and Martina and Chris Everett carried those well and trying to influence the other younger players in the game and the support tennis definitely and especially when you're number one in the world I think you're have to be a major role model and if you don't care why should a young 17 year old who's never won care Steffi says that she's not having problems with her knee, but any time that she does tend to get a little bit of an injury, she goes in herself more, becomes more introverted. Notice she's not wearing the tape that uh, she uh, used just under the patellar tendon. You can see the, the adhesive still there. Oh, I guess that is just a, uh, a lighter Jeez. tape as we look more closely. First a double fall, Dante has uh, led Wimbledon and that uh, statistic, that's her 26th. Give her a hand. 
terrific hitting right here. Great shot on the dead run. Good effort to pull that one cross court. But there were so many terrific, hard, deep shots from both ends, and finally, the winning reply from Date. showing you why she has advanced all the way to the Wimbledon semifinals. Solid game. Kraut serves up just one break now at 4-2. Kamiko only 5-4, so has a very low center of gravity that's good for the grass courts and bends down so well. Gets down, down with those knees on every single shot. Funny stance on the return. Stands awkwardly favoring one side, but then when the toss goes up, evens it out. Stands straight forward. Another player on the tour, Julie Allar from France, does the same thing. Fifteen. She'll make you play a lot of balls. He keeps it in play, just like Arancha Sanchez Vicario. Runs down seemingly all the shots. 30-50. We mentioned at the top of this match that Kamiko has a win over Steffi. That was the last time they played. That was in Fed Cup at the end of April. It was 12-10 in the third. Steffi actually led five love in the first set, lost that set, won the second set, and then had a match point at 6-5 in the third, lost that match. It's played at Ariake Stadium, 10,000 people were there. Miko's biggest win in front of her hometown. Good return. She's not the first uh, Japanese player to make it to the Wimbledon semis. Yuro Sato made both the semis and singles and doubles in 1933, a man. Uh, 63 years. Juice. The boy is tennis hot now in Japan. They always love tennis. Now they're getting so many successful players out of Japan. Ai Sugiyama, Neiko Sawamatsu, mostly on the women's side. Shuzu Matsuoko on the men's side. always plays very quickly, really hurrying, running out of daylight after 8 o'clock London time. I still can't believe we're here. Steffi Graf leading 5-2 knows a victory would send her into the Saturday's final against her opponent of a year ago, Rancho Sanchez Vicario, who will never forget that incredible 20-minute 
11th game where Groff finally wore down Sanchez Vicario. Won the next game and her sixth Wimbledon title. 15 what an incredible match that was last year. Great confidence builder for Arancha, even though she didn't win that match. Really feels comfortable on the grass now. 15. But Steffi's just so at home on this center court. Six titles already. Her game great for grass with that big first serve, big forehand and slice backhand. That's too delicious for that big forehand from Groff sitting right there begging to be hit for a winner. She has that great first strike ability. Get her opponent in trouble right from the beginning on her big serve, also on that big return. Constantly feeling pressure from Steffi Groff. You know that you have to hold your serve. You feel a lot of pressure there because telling herself to think. 30 off. And a set point for Groff. You know that you have to hold your serve because Steffi usually holds her serve so easily. appear to get a lot of punch on that awkward looking forehand but there's more velocity on it than you would think and Groff showed there it's very interesting because doesn't get up a lot of racket head speed a lot of momentum like someone like Andre Agassi because the swing is so short but very precise and accurate on her shots denies one set point For Groff. Can't get into the habit of having a lot of second serves. The second serve has nothing on it, no spin, very short in the court, especially to the Steffi Groff forehand. That's lethal. Seven minutes. And Dick, you mentioned that Kamiko Date has the highest number of double faults in this tournament on the women's side. And I think it's because she doesn't put a lot of spin on either that first serve or the second serve. It's very flat. And that spin allows you to hit the ball higher over the net, gives you more safety. Fast start for Graf, per usual, to a four-love lead. Dade, latter half of that opening set, played her tough. See if she can maintain that level or whether Graf will hike it even another gear. The ace to 30 love, her first. Look at this extension, full extension, leaping into that shot, moving into her body, moving her body into the court, excuse me, on that serve. Start to the second. She holds it low. Greatest moment. A weatherman cooperating. So the matches 
will be complete apparently as unless this goes to a third set. Date love one. Fifteen love. Just everybody seems to have their legs taped today. Kamiko Date has her left knee taped as well. She hurt that plane Fed Cup at the end of April and is still a nagging injury. Oh, bad Ooh, bounce. Bad bounce. But she travels with her own coach, her own physical trainer, and her own translator. And apparently this is an Eastern style tape job. It not the style that the WTA trainers would use. They have different theories. Kamiko's even played with some small needles in her right shoulder when her shoulder had tendonitis. Well, I just think it's a remarkable. Here she is, one of the class players in the world, and yet she's playing with her unnatural side to be able to learn the game that well just imagine someone said oh, we want to make you a major player now you're six years old you got some talent you're right-handed okay you get to play left-handed now go to Wimbledon Dick Sabine Appleman's another player who did well here is just the opposite. She's right-handed, but when she started tennis, her friend was left-handed, so she wanted to go on the court with the lefties, so she said that she was left-handed as well. point to Graf. You can't allow her those kinds of free points. That's the third double fault. It's just too flat on that second serve. No spin whatsoever. But for those of you at home that want to take away something from Kamiko's Date's game, look at her footwork constantly making small adjustments and I love the way that she gets down so well. have to bend so much more on the grass. I always remember the first about four days being so sore in the thighs and the rear end because you bend that just a little bit extra. Unhappy with her toss, Tate, showing a little outward emotion. That's rare for her. Just wide. So she's denied two breakers here in this game. And Groff, you know, wants to storm through this and get a win before darkness falls. Miko trying to pressure Steffi Groff, come into the net, finish some points off there. She's not a natural mover at the net, but she usually follows such a great approach shot in. But she does okay up there. break point for Groff in this game. Kamiko struggling there. Plenty of court open for Steffi. Kamiko guessing the wrong way. A second serve and a chance to go up to love in the second. Already the winner of the first set, 6-2. to a two-love lead. Kamiko Date so far with nothing to hurt Steffi Groff. No huge weapons 
just that great retrieving ability. We mentioned that she beat Steffi last time they played, but that was on hard courts. Graf, a totally different experience. On the baseline. Dante's had a very good tournament so far, beat Conchita Martinez in the round of 16. She feels that that's her second biggest win of her career. She was down a set in 5-4, fought back. It's one thing about her, she's never down and out, terrific fighter, very intense, and great composure. Double fall from Groff is her first. 15-30. He's been coughing a lot the last few days. Always having to blow her nose on the changeovers. Seems like that happens a lot at Wimbledon. I don't know if she's allergic or what. Allergic to the grass. Mother Heidi Graf. Travels to most of the tournaments with Steffi. Very, very nice lady and a terrific supporter of Steffi. Which is very important now. With all that she's gone through in the last year. Another double. And a break point for Dante. that left hand. Miko Date using that left hand here. Pretty good control. She has too much court to cover. I'll tell you, that's quite an advantage to be able to take that other hand off the racket and feel okay about using that left hand. It becomes a plus then, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like having two forehands. from Kamiko Date on the dead run a few times and finishes it off. But you know, the top players are able to hit those running shots so well, hit lethal shots back, not just get them back. That's Another. one big difference between the top players and the rest. Another chance to break. Okay, and the go. double fault for third. She gave a couple of uh, double fall points to Date, and they're back on serve in the second. If you're up early enough to have the road to yourself, driving can actually be fun. My hot rod days are over, but... I Tennis today, you'll see the highlights and the reactions as we look ahead to the women's final and the men's semifinals. 11.35 tonight, and uh, don't forget tomorrow, we have five more hours from center court. The men's semifinals beginning at noon Eastern, 11 o'clock Pacific time. Date serves one, two in the second. Groff very generous in that last game.
Lafitte. Actually, a good drop shot from Steffi. A little bit behind the baseline. That's not easy to do. And Kamiko was there, but just tried to cut that angle a little too fine. And with your opponent already showing that she is in 100% with that leg wrapped. Oh. Getting a little darker here. About 824. Both players knowing that they don't have that much time left, maybe half an hour, 40 minutes. Miko would love to stretch this match into tomorrow. Fifteen seconds. Of course, both players waiting a long time today with all those rain delays off and on, off and on. Well, I bet Graf was upset. Here's the defending champion having to wait till almost uh, nightfall to play. Not her fault, the rain of the early midday. The both players staying right here locally in Wimbledon, which is a huge advantage over the last 10 years where players before used to stay in town. Now they can just pop back to their house, relax, watch television. was completely down on her knees. Completely fallen down. She fought back very well. Steffi gives her a hand. Point for two all. Game stopping. Well, that was superb stuff from Kamiko Date. She gains all second sets. Right along the baseline where it's brown, you don't tend to slip, but when you get back a little bit further where it's more green, there's still some wetness in the grass, easier to slip. That stance. amazing on such a sh on such a short backswing creates an incredible angle there if it had been deeper Steffi Graf would have gotten it Really is fun to watch. She. she is fun because she hits the ball so on the rise, so out in front, really cuts down on the time that her opponents have to react. Well, please, thank you. Has anyone hit the ball so consistently, so close to the net court? I mean, it just seems like her shots skim one after another. It's because she hits so flat, no spin, as most of the Japanese players play like, just like that, very flat ground strokes. thought that was long and there have been several fouls that have gone against her that I must agree seemed long. Chalk flew up so that would indicate that it was off the line but it's so tough to call off a replay like that not the right angle. And 
Groff's first serve percentage, 41 percent. Wow. Unusual for her. She needs to be up around 65. Oh, so <laughs> Steffi freezes, waiting for the call. A little on edge today, maybe waiting around too long to play this match. Just long. And a break point for Date. And Groff, let's beware. She's in a hurry. She wants to get this match in the bank. She wants to win it. Know that she's uh, secure for Saturday. Doesn't want to play again tomorrow. And uh, Ace could make waste for her. Her opponent's playing she's better and better. There's the big Ace to race the break point, her second. for the lead for Date in the second set. Not that powerful first serve. Date just blocks it back. Got not enough time to react. They thought she had it covered. Smart to come in, and I thought she did pretty well with that volley, nice and deep. Oh. Looked like Steffi knew where Kamiko was going to run. Beautiful backhand into the open court. do enough for this. Not enough pace and too short. Really could have put that away, but I think she was still thinking about that call that she was looking for. And again, Dante doesn't usually question calls either. Dante's going to attack this, hit it on the rise. She pressured Groff into the air. Deuce again. Because she hits it so early, I mean, Steffi has hardly enough time to get her racket back after finishing that service motion. Third deuce against Groff's serve. Tight spot in this match. of Steffi's grip and in this situation really can only pull, pull a ball like that cross court. Kamiko read it but didn't do enough with it. Strong continental grip. plays well. She makes it look so easy. Just very simple. Short strokes. Moves very smoothly. Glides through the ball. It's wonderful to watch. And you can hear Groff really starting to pant as she uh, works on the baseline. That's unusual for her. Mm. 
as long as we scroll. Just lift it up with her upper body a little bit. Didn't stay down with it, down and forward. to Date, deuces the call. So, Graf's ball long. Jane Harvey, formerly Jane Tabor in the chair. It was either a late call or an overrule. Couldn't hear which one. So it's deuced at two all. The net court going her way. This ball is so low when she had to hit it. Really flipped the ball up with her wrist. Got some good topspin to bring it over the net. 16th point of this game. A rare, long game for Groff. Take toe to toe on the baseline with Steffi Groff. Nice deep ground strokes, with some good amount of pace. And the third break point in this long game for Kamiko Date and how she's earned them. A little impatient there from Steffi Groff. Set up that forehand well with the serve. Looked in a hurry make the winner. Boost number seven. you would know I would think now that the sun is very low and we've had a lot of rain today anyway that uh, grass will get slicker shouldn't it ball will skid more definitely a little damp a little bit of dew on it also tougher to move second serve break point Dottie Both players all over the court. Date just didn't get all the way up to that last shot. But again, I don't know what Steffi could be upset about because Thank you. she's winning the points and then seems to get upset. Well, it's an 11-minute game, and you can hear her breathing harder and harder, and the light is getting less and less. ball that looked long. But it's not as if 
Steffi is playing bad tennis. I think Kamiko Date has really raised the level of her game since the first set. Tremendous depth. Break point number five for a 3-2 lead. Two of seven break point opportunities for Date. Not good. She's not capitalizing on those chances. Mindful of last year's final against Durancha Sanchez Vicario. Nine deuces now in this game that's extended past 12 minutes. The longer it goes, the more important this game becomes mentally. <laughs> Steffi wants to get this game under her belt, try to finish for the day. Kamiko wants to extend this match. A little bit more pace added to the shots from Kamiko Date. When she's playing well, adds a little pace, gets tremendous depth, and adds those angles. On the sixth break point, Kamiko Date takes the lead. What a game! Sprinter, breathing's almost an afterthought. But for Amy Van Dyken, every breath she takes is on her mind. Severe asthma limits her oxygen to, at best, two-thirds that of normal. A first-time Olympian, Amy has more to overcome than mere rivals. Her dreams will take her to the Olympics on NBC. Well, it's been a long, wonderful day of tennis this Wimbledon at the All England Club, and... These two women have saved the best for last. Kamiko Date, Steffi Graf. Date serves for the first time with a lead, 3-2. Graf won the first set, 6-2. Broke early here in the second set to lead to love, and Date's broken Graf the last two service games. And this is the Kamiko Date that took out Conchita Martinez, 6-3 in the third, and defeated Mary Pierce in the third set as well. Smart to come in, sees that Steffi Groff is in trouble, finishes the point off at the net. And now she's firing winners at the number one player in the world. He's on fire. It's going to be her biggest challenge to hit with incredible depth and close to the lines, and she's certainly doing that this second set. If you hit short against Steffi Groff, you're in trouble. After that 14-minute, 24-point preceding game, then Dottie comes back and takes charge. Great anticipation. Keeps that racket head out in front. That backhand came at her awfully hard. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Dottie's won the last six points. You don't get many strings like that against Groff. They've turned the lights on, the four corner lights, which I don't think is going to help at all. Those aren't lights to try to light up the court. Those are just security lights. 
but they're on an automatic system. That's how dark it is now. Our camera lens able to open and make it appear much lighter than the actual light that's left. Miko Date playing with a lot more aggression in this second set. That's one of those uh, corner lights up under the roof. <laughs> 15 all, 2 4. Groth serving. She won the first set. to pick up the ball very quickly. Good play on grass to wrong foot your opponent, especially speedy opponents because they're quickly going the other way. If they're real slow, hit into the open court, they'll never get that. long 40 15 real funny bounce that second serve jam Kamiko Date Steffi will you marry me <laughs> finally she smiled <laughs> it's not been an easy day for her, and it isn't exactly a easy match as one might have expected after she ran through that first set six two <laughs> 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 well, that's a first in Wimbledon. <laughs> we, since 79, we've not seen any exchange like this. She has over 18 million earnings, <laughs> plus endorsements. 40 15. Thank you. Real break in the action there from the fan. Everybody has to stop and regroup. Continue to stay focused. Yeah, that was no favor for Groff on her serve. She's going to get to the shots, but just glides to the ball. Well, this is becoming the match of the women's championship. I wanted to stop. Terrific depth there from Steffi, and it looked like it took a little hop. Kamiko pulled up on the ball. Prior to this, the Katrina Studenikova three-set win over Monica Sella is certainly the most dramatic and most exciting. Date just connecting so well, right in the middle of the racket, stays down with it. Another long service game for Steffi Graf, 2 4 deuce. I'd like to stop her. And 
Dutch now a point for a 5-2 lead. Trying to move in on this second set and score the match. a little bit upset with herself because she knows it's not easy to get a break point opportunity from Steffi. And Groff handled a terrible bounce in the middle of that rally to keep it alive. Great adjustment there from Steffi. <gasps> it's wide and uh, down goes Date and the grass is getting more slippery. These are the types of falls that can cause injuries. Le right leg slipping out. That's where you can tear the inside of the knee or pull a groin. I slipped very badly in Eastbourne one year and had to default out of that. Barely got to play Wimbledon because I pulled my groin muscle. serving to square the match. Sunday, Robin Cook's bestseller that thrilled millions. This July 4th weekend, instead of talking about freedom... ...for sinus or allergies, whatever it may be, breathing heavily, and uh, Kamiko Date playing her best tennis up a double break now five two serves for the set and even the match Krav, as she left the court after the last game asked Jane Harvey Normally Jane Tabor, the umpire, and one has to guess it. You wonder if it's too dark, should we uh, go on to tomorrow? But uh, the chair umpire in contact with the tournament uh, referee, Alan Mills, said, play on. Love 30. And at that point, down 5-2, I'm sure Steffi didn't feel like she had the momentum as Alan Mills and Georgina Clark look on. Georgina Clark from the WTA. Check it, 15 all. <laughs> Dick, it's now 8.54 here. And the other night I watched a doubles match that ended about 9.15 between Pam Shriver, Ross Fairbank, Monica Sellis and Betsy Nagelson. Just wide. 30 all. Well, the nights are very short uh, midsummer here in England. He had that down the line in her sights, just missed it by a couple of inches. Two points from the set, 30 all. <laughs> set point, Kamiko Date. Who would have thought it after Date lost the opening set, 6 2, was down love two in this one? something when you have won five consecutive games against this woman the number one player in the world Date looking for six in a row and the set I've myself Dick, but 
we had mentioned at that time that Steffi looked like she was playing quickly trying to get this match over with. Also, Date started to increase her power. I would think that if Date wins here, the match will be suspended until tomorrow. Definitely. That would be fair. Start right at the beginning of the third set because they won't be able to get too far into this third set. Game six and Kamiko Date, six consecutive games, captures the second set 6 2 with some brilliant play. And as suspected, play suspended due to darkness or lack of light, as they say here. And so tomorrow, they will play one set for it all to go to the finals of Wimbledon. And on this 4th of July, uh, what a great treat it's been. And there's uh, one piece of the puzzle today still left to examine. And that is Todd Martin of the United States in his quarterfinal match. Todd Martin against Britain's top hope, Tim Henman. And we'll check on that result when we return. <laughs>